guys, today I'm going to show you why people remove the thermostat, why, how the thermostat works, and when it fails, how does it behave when it fails, how does it fail. So I've got thermostats here. This is the work type of a thermostat. You see this, this type of thermostat here is known as the work type of thermostat, although we have other types, but this is the most commonly used in ignition engines, so in combust internal combustion engines both diesel and petrol so only that they are different sizes so you can see this thermostat here it has got a this is a bypass valve to bypass the water when it does not need to flow into the radiator for cooling this is the spring that is compressed once the thermostat opens and we have a small valve here we have a small valve here known as a floater so i'm going to show you how the thermostat opens and how does it behave when it fails? For example, he needs a thermostat when he fails. When you are not able, because it failed in a, at a closed position. You see, generally it should be closed, eh? but it failed in a closed position. It should be closed so that water does not start to cool the engine immediately. Ukigurumishagari. So how this operates? Eh? It has got wax in here, in the charger. Unona apanda ni pakona wax. So here wax when it is heated at a specified temperature. In a return manufacturer, in a in a expert, eh? it expert that's compressing this spring and opening this valve in here. It opens the valve and water is allowed to flow to the radiator, where heat is dissipated, maybe five degrees to seven degrees Celsius in a dissipated in a tupoko atmosphere. And the cooled water in a ruditena kwa engine, in a take heat up kwa engine, in a rudisha tena kwa thermostat until the engine is at optimum operating temperatures. So. The thermostat delete, eh? people remove this one, unaitupa. You see, hey, thermostat I fight to make Kenya. Kenya siyo maju. But that is a nar 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 narrative <laughs> that I most naskianga ivo sana sana. So this is the thermostat, even though inafanyanga, it maintains the engine at the optimum operating temperature. So I'm going to show you how and how it operates. When you feel inafanyanga, nimewasho. So this is one operator. I have got also, uh, this is the thermometer that I use to test the temperature of the water. So I've got hot water in here. In the heater, this is a heater. So the water has boiled. You can see, boiling water. So what I'm going to do, eh? I'm going to dip those thermostats in this boiling water. We assume this water is 100 degrees, although I'm going to test with the thermometer. So I'm going to pour the water in that basin. And then I dip my thermostat in it to see if they open. This hot water. Very hot. So I'm going to dip this thermostat in here. You can see, you can see first the, the spring. This is crossed. I'm going to see if the wax will expire that. I'd push the spring so that the thermostat will open. So let it stay in here. Let me test the temperature of this water. I don't know if... The temperature is a, is a hundred, hundred. I don't know if we'll be able to zoom it. You see? 98.6. This is 100 degrees, so I'm going to see if easy thermostats it afunguka. So what actually happens, eh? Ukitoanga thermostat, eh? Ukifanya thermostat delete. I know some vehicles in Akwanga na ita biya ya kukuwa ma thermostat. Ikikuwa ma thermostat, so that water, ikifa, venye inafa, maji inafa ikuliwe kwa hijin, eh? Ikuliwe, deo irudi kwa hijin ikiwa baridi kiasi deo itek ile joto, haifanyi hivo. So, ina, iko, inakuwa iko closed. Maja ipiti kwa radiator ikuliwe. So it leads to overheating. Dio mana watu uzingwa. Ju, ikifel, inafungia maji isipiti ya kwa radiator. At this, thus, ukikosa kunotis kwa temperature gauge. When you fail to notice, ina lead to iji ni na overheat. But you should see kwa temperature gauge. Ile nini ikipanda. Ile temperature ikipanda. Ju, at the normal operating temperature ya iji, inafakua around from 90 to 120. For... If I could pita up from 90 or from 75 to 120, in a fakua apokatikati. 
So it should not be over or below. So ukitoa hii thermostat that means the cooling kuna venye una affect na cooling system. So I'm going to show you venye ukitoa thermostat ina ina lead to overcooling. In a lead to inefficiency, you should replace it at, after maybe 20,000 kms or 30,000 kms. That's maybe two years. After two years, a certain model of the car has, is prone to thermostat to fail. If you are closed, eh? to fail. Every fail if you are open, if you fail if you are closed, you will have to magic to put your radiator. So, when it fails at a closed position, it leads to overheating of the engine because it engine high operate when at temperature in a fire operate. Maybe from in a fire operate, your engine in a fire operate at 95 degrees. So it goes to 110 or 130. It leads to detonation. Unapata ire spark, spark ignition. Spark ignition engine is a petrol in a knock. Knock is the when you know your fuel air mixture you introduce your kwa, kwa chamber. Iki compressio ina jiwasha enyewe. Ade ingo jay spark. Iyo ndio ina itangwa knock. Ina jiwasha enyewe. Ndiyo mana unasikia zile ma shock wave. Ndiyo mana wasewe ita knock. Zile ma shock wave ju. Ina, in, iki compressio ju tayari iji ni moto sana. Ile for a mixture ina, ina jiwasha. Iki jiwasha ina. You can see the stresses in the combustion chamber. That is in an overheating engine. Yenye thermostat haifanyi. Ime fail at a closed position. Now. When the, you remove the thermostat, eh? umetoa thermostat, ndio gari, ukiwasha tu hivi, gari isha anza ku, kukul. Ndi umewasha ijin, na sasa maji isha anza kukul ijin tayari. Adi siyo moto, na isha anza kukul. So, how, what effect does it have? So, when that happens, eh? you will find out that the ijin takes so long to warm up. Because, sp gari, inaja, ispak, gari enye inajaribu ku heat up, ni kama uwashe moto uku unazima, you see? That's what happens. How will it affect the consumption and performance? In general, the efficiency of the engine. This is what happens. When the ukitoa thermostat, because the moment umewasha hivi gari, adi asubui kwanza, the moment the engine is cold, aditayari usha anza kukulire engine, the ECM, electronic control module, or the power control module, iko na temperature sensor. In a sense, the temperature yenye iko kwa engine. So, iki sense the temperature, when the, it is too cold, eh, Ina increase the amount of fuel and ina inject wa kwa chamber. The origin warm up. So you see in in return, eh, he ki cool region, nayo nayo ECM ina, ina increase the air fuel ratio. So ina increase the fuel fuel and ina, ina, ina inject kwa cylinders. So ina lead to increase fuel consumption na inefficiency. Ni inefficient sana. Jukama sa hi. Tuseme uko unaishi juja. Unaishi juja umetoka asubui. Gari inaenda kuwa mapu kiingia ruiru. Ju, inajaribu kuhit na yu inakuliwa. So, it, it will wait for it to catch up. Dio iwa umile maji. Na unajua gari kisha anza kumove. Tayari inakuliwa na radiator. So, you, you see how hard it is to, to warm that water. So, it leads to increased fuel consumption. Ju, ECM ina increase the fuel air ratio. Dio, iji ni kuwe moto. When you remove the thermostat. At then, eh. Uki remove the thermostat, hile kitu ina happen, unaona hiyo maji, haina restrictor. Kuna kitu inafaa ku ina restrict. Kama hizi thermostat, eh, wacha zi endele kukaa hapo, wacha zi endele kuchomura hiyo maji, tuone kama kuna yenye itafunguka. Let's see, kama kuna yenye itafunguka. So, when you, when you remove the thermostat, thermostat inatumika kama restriction. A restriction fulani, yani maji ya flow smoothly. Because maji, unajua hii maji, inapampi wana water pump. So it rotates at very many times per, per second. Ina, unaza pata inazunguka kwa hijin, 5 times per second. Maybe 5 to 10 times per second. So imagine, umetoa thermostat, inazunguka marangapi per second. Imara mingi sana. So, yyo maji ikizunguka na hiyo speed, ita absorb temperature kweli. Ama likuzunguka tu inazunguka. <laughs> inazunguka tu rakini, hai, hai take the temperature. Kwanza kaa unatumia maji siyo coolant. Although coolant yenyewe ni maji yenye imewekwa ethyl glyco. It's around 50% or 60%. 60% water head, 40% ethyl glyco na antifreeze hapo hivi. Juhezi components. So, the thermostat acts as a restrictor. 
ndio maji na flow na speed fulani it will absorb the temperature and then hiyo maji na kuja na imebeba hiyo temperature ina dissipate kwa radiator ina rudi tena yani it is it flows with a rhythm kuna venye na rhythm sio tu kuzunguka 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 so when you use water when you use water enye ina anti anti corrosion zile additives za anti corrosion what effect does it have you see these are steel parts these are still although naona ziko kuna vile zimekotiwa so you see these steel parts eh zina corrode zikisha corrode eh? it can inaweza fail here but you should replace it with original equipment manufacturer kama bosch denso original equipment manufacturer unatoa unaweka na aftermarket there are some cars that are prone to to is the most at fail in a closed position gari kama i don't want to say axio but people remove sana sana Sitaki kusema Toyota in general. In fact I don't want to, to name a car zenye zio fair. But they should be replaced after 2 years. The same same case with the coolant. Coolant you should replace it after 2 years. Coolant nimewashoi kwa na either Greco na additives na anti corrosion inhibitors. So zile zio expire. Na iki expire ina ina rozira effectiveness. Ina ina zali tu pia kwa either almost start to fail. So after 2 years una change coolant unaweka mpya. After two years, when I change the mustard, when I come here, come a yoga rico, how it should be, but most people don't do it. I'm on a final delete. So once you delete, you do a the mustard delete when you are show in a little increased fuel consumption and inefficiency. A lot of the mustard if you come in a little engine cover heat. You see this pipe? I don't know whether the nini is opening. I'm going to test it. Nita magamaji apa ni one kama ita magiki apa ivi chini. Although sioni kama ime move this is a faulty thermostat yenye ilikuwa ili kwa gari ikashidwa ika ku function i don't have a new one kama ningekuwa na mpya mngeona venye ingefunguka hapa you this water is a, a hundred degrees it should open so that what happens when the thermostat fails inapeleka tu maji kwa radiator it prevents eh, at ukikurumisha tu hivi engine maji tayari ishaanza kukuli engine na engine ni baridi that is the function of a thermostat it opens Maji zunguke iko regions at a specified temperature the same same case na fan fan ukigurumisha hiji ni hivi haianzangi kuzunguka immediately kwanza ina goja hiji ni overheat kiasi ndio inaanza ku cool tena hiyo hiji ama inaanza ku cool maji yenye inapitia kwa radiator sio immediately so the other thing that i'm going to show you ni hizi fan fan ikifail utajua aje all people say ah i connect direct unaweza ki connect direct another thing ki connect fan direct ita itakuwa ina cool engine hadi venye haifai kuwa ina cool so i'm going to show you how you connect the fan direct and how you know kama fan ni me fail so let's get it, let's get into it so ukikama hapa kwa nini there is it's night no days off <laughs> ukikama hapa kwa engine compartment compartment utaona hii pipe yenye ina ina ina, ina kama hapa kwa radiator yenye inaingia hivi hii pipe on the on your right side side ya battery kuna pipe yenye iko hapo yenye inakama hapa hivi ndani so there is a socket yenye inaingianga hapa i don't know don't know whether it will be visible it is known at, as a cold start switch or a thermistor inakuanga hapa ndani kama ingia hapa tu mahali pipe inaingia so if you want to connect your fan direct eh, you disconnect that you disconnect that that akaka socket kako hapa the temperature switch you disconnect it at the fans zitaanza kupiga immediately ukikurumisha gari hivi zinaanza kupiga immediately so if aka tuseme ime kuovahitia kwa barabara that's how you connect the fan direct another thing how you, you can know kama fan zinafungulia tuseme unawasha AC huko ndani ume, ume, umepiga safari maybe you have covered maybe 10 km or 7 km so when you start the AC the fan should automatically open easy <laughs> fan bidi zira fatari zi zifungulie because umewasha ume fan kuna hita kwa huko ndani i'll explain kwa nini that's one way you can know kama fan zinafungulia you cover a distance when the engine has already warmed up na fan bado hazijafungulia washa ac it should open automatically so the mustard zetu bado hazijafungulia if if kama hizi thermostat it's a simple test venye ni universal venye mtu ujua kama thermostat inafungulia hii inafai inge expand hivi mpaka hii ifunguke hapa ifungulia hapa and the 
the valve should open to allow water to pass into into the radiator for cooling so you should you should make sure umeangalia temperature gauge yako uki start gari hivi let it warm up to about three quarter see three quarter eh about three quarter you see it is rated one two three four Inafaa kuwa katikati ya 3 na 4 kwa temperature gauge. So iki overheat, kuna ile, ikisha pita 3 quarter, kuna ile pati ya gauge enye, ime paint, ime, ime shade wa red. That shows the engine is overheating. Na iki pita hapo ufai kuendelea kudrive. Juhu yoni, inakuonyesha gari ni kuoverheat na overheat. In severe cases, gari itajizima. Ndiyo isi, isi haribike engine. So, that is how the thermostats work. And that is why people remove them. Wanazifanyanga delete because... Inaweza kufailia ukiwa ujui and then ikifail ina fail at a closed position so ina overheat inafungia maji na kosa ku cool engine ukiguza hizi hose ukiguza hizi hose ikifungia ikifungia ukiguza hii hose of course utasikia ni ngumu sana je ile pressure yenye iko hapo je hiyo pressure inakuwa ni ngumu sana hapo so that's how it actually happens you should observe your temperature gauge closely when you are cruising, the ogari is overheat kama ujui. That's why, watu uzingwa, wakitoka coast. Sio reason ingine ati yuku siyo majiu. Yon deo reason. Thank you.